Ever since 2015's Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain, fans have had questions about the tapes. And none of the tapes in the game are as mysterious or important as the final 12, known as the Truth Records. If this video should get 40,000 views in the first two weeks, I'll return with a long-form analysis and investigation, breaking down the Truth Tapes in detail. For now, allow me to introduce the project with something simpler but no less vital, a correct timeline. Don't you die on me, damn it! Bibi's dropping! Intubate, now! Cardiac arrest is in BFIB! Clear! No response, hit him again! How's he doing? Well, he's stabilized, but it took too long. He's in a coma. What about him? He uh, took some shrapnel to the head. Boss, how are you back on your feet so quickly? There are many thematic, deeper reasons why the truth records, in a clear contradiction of name, do not go in the correct linear order. But it takes careful listening, combined with repeat playthroughs, to figure out that order properly. Coming in first chronologically is the secret recording of Pause and Zero. Not there, here. Huh? Thank you for coming. Please. You're... Hmm. Is it that odd? I suppose the cuffs have gotten a bit loose. Although, truth be told, I have been spending more time in pajamas as of late. No. Nothing. The tie, perhaps. Not the most fashionable pattern, I admit. No, it is very nice. How sweet. Will you take a little brandy? Uh, You're hardly under age, after all. No, thank you. Hmm. Please, sit. Presumably this was made sometime prior to the events of Peace Walker, which take place in late 1974, and after Big Boss leaves Cypher in 1972. It is this face-to-face -face meeting that Paz will confess details of to Skullface in the second tape, Paz's account. And this, of course, is really a fragment of Chico's Tape 7, dated in Ground Zeroes, 
as being from March 15, 1975. Cypher's been in hiding ever since his grand experiment. No one's seen him in years. All we hear are orders delivered by proxy. Except you. You met with him face to face in order to contact Big Boss. Going forward is where things get tricky. Third comes the secret recording of Ocelot and Zero. This is taken relatively recently after the events of Ground Zeroes, still in, according to the ending timeline, 1975. It's me, Ocelot. It's been quite a while. Yeah, I'll see. Took a lot longer for you to surface than I expected, Major. I wasn't planning on coming back at all, but I had no choice. Well, after the Caribbean. Zero mentions Snake at this time is en route from Cuba to Cyprus. It's clear from this tape that Zero has already, if not all along, since the end of Peace Walker, concocted his Venom Snake ruse, the replacement of the real big boss with a doppelganger. Guess you're still at the top of your game, huh? Anything but. I'm sick, Ocelot. Donald's taken over a great deal. He'll be handling this situation from here on as well. Though I wish it weren't so. This will probably be the last time you and I speak. So, you won't say no, will you? I have no choice. Thank you. Save your thanks. <laughs> One more thing. A proposition. Yes. I've prepared a ruse of sorts, one I imagine you'll quite like. What is it? You could say, I've made another snake. Major. Fourth comes a secret recording of Miller in Zero. You weren't in hospital long. I had trouble finding you. Where is he? Safe. But in the same state as when you last saw him. Now, I ordered it this way because Zero in this tape mentions the involvement of the man we just heard him in the last tape recruiting, Ocelot. Problems could arise. So, instead, I'm giving you a point of contact. An introduction to a network of messengers who will lead you to a man. A friend to your boss. I'm sure he's mentioned him before. He knows Snake's location. More than any man alive, I trust him with this sort of thing. Keeping secrets, or men in the dark. Of course, knowing Zero, it's also totally possible he's speaking ahead of time, already certain Ocelot will have no choice but to agree to join him. Regardless, the recording of Miller and the one of Ocelot must have happened close together. Another big reason I put the Miller one later is because Zero claims here that Big Boss has already been moved, whereas in Ocelot's tape, Big Boss is said, as I mentioned, to still be simply en route. Fifth comes a tape we know when it was recorded, in 1976. It's the secret recording of Skullface and Zero. Here, Skullface poisons Zero in a stunning betrayal and sets into motion the events of everything that follows, not only in MGS5, but the rest of the entire series. The world that the boss envisioned will finally become a reality. Race, tribal affiliations, national borders, even our faces will be irrelevant. The nature of communication itself will change, and it will make mankind whole again. Some things can't be undone. My face was taken from me. There's no taking that back. A face means nothing when one's soul is able to communicate directly with another. I have no intention of hiding behind your technological veil, Major. I wear my broken visage, this skull, in the open, so that I may never forget what I've lost. You. What are you? The chain of retaliation is what will truly bind this world together as one. Ah. Ah. Now, the next several tapes are also tricky to pin down, as they're all logs Ocelot seems to be making for Big Boss to listen to once he wakes up. Number six and seven are Ocelot's reports that Zero has been attacked. 
These lay out that in the wake of Skullface's attack, Zero has disappeared, and handed over control of Cypher to the AIs called the Patriots. This in turn leads to number 8, Report to Big Boss, Cypher's Information Control. Still no leads on Zero. We don't even know whether he's still alive. But the protocol he put in motion is making steady progress. Here, Ocelot explains the effects of Zero's system, and hints towards his true loyalties, which will come full circle by the MGS4. Number 9 is Report to Big Boss, The War Economy. We know this follows in this order because Ocelot here mentions by name the entity that he introduced in a tape before, the Patriots. Now, next comes number 10, the secret recording of Zero and Big Boss. This is when Zero pays one last visit to Snake in Cyprus. Again, thanks to the timeline provided by the end of the game, we know the year this takes place, 1977. And this is also hinted at directly by the tape by the involvement of the infamous 1977 New York blackout. Numbers 11 and 12 are hard to definitively order, but I think first at 11 comes Les Enfants Terribles, then at 12, Doublethink. Doublethink just sounds like Ocelot and Snake's last conversation before the events of the game to me. Les Enfants, on the other hand, likely was recorded first because Ocelot and Big Boss are discussing old business, rather than a final briefing prior to the operation, like we hear in Doublethink. Well, there you have it. That order, once again, is Pause and Zero, Pause's Account, Zero's Location, Ocelot and Zero, Miller and Zero, Skullface and Zero, Report Zero's Been Attacked 1, Report Zero's Been Attacked 2, Secret Recording of Zero and Big Boss, Report Cypher's Information Control, Report The War Economy, Les Enfants Terribles, and finally, Doublethink. Let's try to hit that 40,000 views if we can. Until next time, boss.